All right, it's time for us to head to Hidden Dark Side Holy Ground. It's a bonus part to the game that you don't have to do, but considering what it does for the story, we're going to head there. And I'm not going to spoil it, as some people might want to experience it for the first time. It's one of the better big surprises in this game, if you ask me. It is a bit of a grind to get there. It's a 15 floor dungeon. And there is some RNG in terms of not dying to the data drain stuff. The key to that part is making sure that Kite gets the last hit. And what we will be doing is using the first aid command with two wave masters to make sure Kite gets the last hit. So we're going to buff here at the beginning, for sure. Probably going to need to buff four or five times before the end of the dungeon. So get used to that menuing. It's fun stuff, right? And a speed charm for myself. Both Helba and I think Elk have the um, HP over time ability, which is nice. Especially when Helba is able to tank the mobs. She's very strong. A cat? Are you No wait! Don't go! It's Mia! Did you see that? That was Mia! Let's keep going. I'm so confused why Elk thinks that's Mia. It's clearly not Mia. Okay, we're already buffed up. Not sure what I was thinking there. Ooh, we got a strong mob first. Golden egg, very cool. Helba's really the carry here. Make sure you use Data Drain and nothing else. The other ones increase your infection rating a little bit more, I believe. Now we tell everyone to first aid once it gets a little lower. This is to make sure Kite gets the last physical hit here. That's how you keep his infection level lower. And you really need to be 99 here. Otherwise, it's much harder to complete this dungeon. It does not matter which way we go. I'm going to go right. And hope that's the correct way. RNG makes this game a little hard here. Yeah, and you can tell I'm very full in terms of gear that I brought for this. Not like it helps, it's all RNG anyways. We got some generals there, that's really good. We want to hit this lower general first because he is coming over here to whack us for a million damage. You just keep telling your party to do magic. These guys hit really, really hard if you've never experienced them. Just uh, make sure you kite away from them and hit them with magical abilities. And these ones, it doesn't matter if we get the last hit because we're already very low. We got it there, I believe. So that's nice. But really not a big deal. I guess we can open this. The moon is a good one. Okay, if I can find the exit to this floor, that'd be great. Okay, benevolence. Having trouble finding my fairy's orbs. Tell them to first aid me here. 
steal the last hits, no problem. Lose all my buffs, why not? All good. We're just making sure we have the lowest possible infection level we can. There's no point in not playing it safe. Starting this whole dungeon over is not fun. But the chance of getting the immediate game over is much lower if you're high level. It does suck to do all this buffing though, doesn't it? Did I speed charm already? I did. Okay, we're gonna go left here. Usually I go right, but nobody else wants to go right, so... We want to kill this one first, for sure, here. And I know it seems weird to do that, but there's a reason for it. Because we can use the armor general to further lower our infection level. So we're going to data drain here. And continue killing him. First aid me please, that hurts. It's making me not want to buff right now. Maybe on the later levels I'll buff more. Let's just do it this way for now. We're getting a little unlucky and dying. And the mobs aren't hitting Helba. Who's the only one who can really tank this mob. Let's see, we lowered our infection level there. Handy dandy night fear. Treasure chest, very cool. Just gonna open this one. And it is worth the speed charm, I guess, even though we lose it when we die. Let's just keep using them. I want to kill the armor generals first, but it's not the right play. Everyone taking a lot of damage. Especially me. But with two wave masters, we should never die here. I mean, game over. Obviously, we're gonna die a lot here. It's just part of the process. worst part about dying all the time, you're just always out of SP. Keep me alive. Oh, he's just gonna hit me with that spell and make this take longer? How could he? That one's hitting Helba, so that's fine. Let's leave him there. We can tell everyone to strengthen right now. Helbo with that HP buffer thing is really good. She heals like 200 a tick, which is far beyond what you're supposed to. She's probably cheating, I feel like. And then we first aid again here to make sure no one steals the last hit from Kite. We would hate for that to happen. Especially on these easy floors where we can keep our infection level really low. Nightshade, very good. Skills here. Now the first aid. We don't want anyone to steal that last hit. Being a little cavalier with it. But they're going to come over here and hit Helba, which is perfect. They really kill Elk fast here. Can you imagine how many resurrects you would need to beat the dungeon without Rip Main? Here we go. 
bloody egg. Not even gonna pick it up. I am going to use a speed scroll though. Level 3. Only 12 more to go. I believe the last two are not actually floors though. Like they just have some stuff in them but not a lot. Earth collar, okie dokie. And then we're going to tell everyone to go to first aid right after this. Actually one one skill round is fine. Otherwise this would take forever. First aid, first aid. Okay. Not a big deal, but probably something we should be more careful with. These guys are both magic tolerant, aren't they? No big deal. Just a slow grind. First aid is what I should be saying. Oopsie. Now that we're beyond the levels with Armor Generals, we can actually buff a little bit here. It helps a lot. One more tick of SP, please. Forget it, I'll just use a Mage Soul. Should be fine. Shadow Robes. Out of the rain here. Forsaken light. Okay. Waiting just a second here. Yes. Giving Elk this. It's much better than what he's using. Thank you. Yes. And I don't think he has good robes, so we'll give him oh, that too. What? Yep. Now Elk yes. is fully decked out. Except for maybe some gloves or something, but he's much happier with his current situation. Earth Staff, oh my gosh. Level 44? I think that's all the way from like dot hack mutation, if I had to guess. Everybody skills, let's go. Do a bunch of damage. There's the protect break. No problem. And I think to get the last hit on this one actually, what you're supposed to do is this right here. So you go over, use Nightbane. And you should be able to remove it. It just misses a lot. Looks like we're not gonna get it. There we go. Now he's not physically tolerant anymore. So now we can kill him. It just takes a little while and a couple attempts. This is how you get the uh, last hit as kite on this guy. It's just really annoying to try to hit him with that ability. But probably worth it, you know, starting over from the very beginning. Not a fun time. Let's go to the left. If you like the game devs or lefters. Oh no, I was so wrong. First aid me. Let's 
skills, data drain here. Keep healing me, please. Please. There's a lot of magic coming my way. Alright, we can go back to skills again. Oh, never mind, I lied. I was thinking they weren't magical tolerant. But there's no point in trying to hit them with the debuffs when there's this many of them still. I think it's faster to just do this one. Skills. Down to drain. We can see we're getting a little unhealthy there. Oh my god, help us smack that one. Even though we have the first aid thing going. Unlucky. Very unlucky. Meanwhile, our infection level just keeps going up. There we go. Helba, if you could not do that, would be great. Isn't there a... Don't use skills. Yeah, there's no, like, don't do anything, which is a shame. Right there, it would have been better if she didn't do anything. I'm going to be using this ability right here. Lots of tear cycling here. Oh, they are hurting me good, aren't they? Now I can tear cycling again. Well, they're cutting it close, aren't they? Taking lots of damage. Gonna data drain here. Forsaken light again. Good, double hit that guy. We want to see more of... No, no, no. First aid. We want to see more of the big guys here, really. The smaller mob packs are way better to get to the end of the dungeon. We might not have gotten that last hit there either. That's a bummer. Our infection levels pretty good, considering we just did all that data draining. It should be going up pretty slowly, considering we're level 99. There we go. No, no, no. Oh my, oh my gosh, we almost took an extra battle there. That would have been horrific. The moon, that's a good one. Earth staff, that's okay. Could be better. First aid and strength or er, strength in here. Buff me up, please. Strengthen, come on. Surely somebody can strengthen me. What a... what a joker. We lost everything there. How funny. There we go. We need more dudes. Strengthen me, would you? There it is. First aid. Rebuff. Now we're looking good again. Our infection level is now kind of green. Green yellow. Not good.
Getting some last hits there is good though. Magic tolerant, okay. We're just delaying a little bit there to make sure nobody's still casting spells while we data drain. Because if the spells are still in flight, bad stuff can happen. Particularly, you know, stealing the last hit from Kite. We want to make sure everyone has their priorities in order. Heal first, please. Do not cause us to game over. Thank you very much. Now we're full yellow. This is where stuff gets a little scary. Our speed charm is no longer active because we died. Down a level we go. Fairy's orb here. This guy first. We can use a skill here actually. I'm gonna go back to first aid. I like how we're skill draining when he's skill draining. And I wonder what happens when we both skill drain at the same time. Someone's gotta have priority, right? Stayed. We're at warning level now. This is where the game can just pretty much end at any time. And what happens then? You get to start all over. Tech break. We want everyone to stop doing that right now. And now we need to break his defense again. Oh, we hit first time there, huh? Very cool. Stay away from Helva, please. Don't go over there. Last hit there on a one mob room. Very good for us. Another one mob room. So that's fine. So much shaking. to go back to first aid while I use a Knight's Bane. Or multiple Knight Bane if uh, we get unlucky. Like those. Is that three already? What about lucky number four? There we go. We brought plenty, don't worry. We're ready to rumble with you, sir. Skill draining you. And just chopping you down. Stay away from Helbo. Thank you. Helbo's like, can I hit it with my stick? No. No, you may not. 